Hi everyone, I hope you're all well, having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are back again today with more X-Ray action. We've been playing it since last week on the channel and this is the last week that we'll be featuring it, of course, before we go into a new team next week. And if you've missed any of the episodes so far and you'd like to go back and check them out before coming into today's episode, as I always say, I'll link a card up here for you. You can go and check the battles out, see some of the great matches that we've had with this team so far and then come back into today's episode and see how we can continue continue on to the rest of the week with this team. So to recap we've got the Mega Rayquaza, the Xerneas, the Landorus, the Tapu Fini, and the Incineroar and the Serena. So without further ado we will just jump straight into it. As always if you enjoy this content guys please remember to leave a like on the video, do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and leave your comments in the comment section. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Let's lock in some music, Giovanni, to kick us off today. I think just a little bit different from what we've normally had. And hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. If it does, I'll cut straight back to it and we'll jump into our first game. And we've got our next opponent and our first opponent of the episode. It's been taking so long to find an opponent. I nearly give up. But we'll hop straight into team preview. And uh, I think it's an opponent we've already had once this week. So we've got Ching, and he is playing a team of Umbrian, Ferrothorn, Gothitelle, Lander, Asterion, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. I think this is the third time we're playing Ching this season, so we'll see. And this particular team as well, so we'll see if we can still overcome it. In our last game, we made use of Rayquaza, Swords Dancing, um, and then just ripping through the team from there. So can we do the same again? I think that'll be a bit more... Wary about what we're doing here this time around. Um, hmm. What are we going to lead? Because we know that there's the trick room option. We can't really deny it, but we can try and get around it as best we can. Um, I don't know if the Incineroar is the best lead here, to be honest. We do definitely need Incineroar. It's just if we get trapped in next to that Kyogre, it's going to be very difficult for us to gain any sort of momentum here from this first turn. My opponent doesn't have any fake out either, so we could potentially go for uh, Landorus. Um, and then we've got the double up opportunity on either target then. Um, Incineroar. And we'll leave Finny and we'll bring Xerneas in the back and we'll lock in with those and we'll see how we get on in this first one today. Right, oh, I've mean, literally been sitting for about 15 minutes looking for an opponent and it's just been going round and round and round and I'd literally nearly given up. I thought, oh, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen today. Where is everyone? Um, but we find Ching. We find Ching, so this is this is all good. We can have another go at this. They definitely know this team inside out now, so I'm presuming that they'll approach it a little bit differently. Got to tell Kyogre coming out. Um, now, where do we go? Where do we go? Yeah. Do you want to do? Do we want to do? Do we want to just earthquake and chase down the Gothitelle? We did that last time. We saw an ally switch there, didn't we? Hmm. We could just U turn as well. But we're not really going to be U turning in on anything. That's why the earthquake's quite a nice option here. And maybe chasing down the, um, the Gothitelle. With a, a Dragon Ascent. Um, the only problem doing that is we might proc a berry on the Gothitelle and the Earthquake might not be enough to get it. But at the same time, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go Earthquake, Dragon Ascent. Let's see what this Kyogre does. And if we see an ally switch here, then ideal. But I don't know if my opponent does that. It does throw your head in a spin when you know that ally switch is there but at the same time the only problem is if we drag an ascent into the gothic town and the proxy berry that would be the biggest problem i'd imagine the kyogre wants to try and protect here so the the trick room getting that up is the the best opportunity my opponent has with the, the kind of core team that they have uh, the requires is obviously nasty to deal with um But the moment of truth is coming up. So let's see what my opponent does. Oh, we've protected with land. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. I don't know why we've protected with Landris. That's a complete misclick on our end. How do we... Ah, okay. So we get 
a nice chunk <laughs> onto the goth. It's probably an extreme speed range. We're going to see an origin pulse. And the trick room setup from my opponent requires it does avoid. So we've still got a uh, slash intact. Ah, <sighs> okay. Hmm. Now. Do we just extreme speed the Gothitelle? Or do we Dragon Ascent the Kyogre? I'm going to extreme speed the Gothitelle because the sooner we do that, the sooner we can start switching out. Um, and I'm going to go for a Tectonic Rage as well into the, the Kyogre slot. We'll see what my opponent does. Help in hand. Oh, it's going to be an Origin Pulse, isn't it? This should take the Gothitelle down. Yeah. If it is an Origin Pulse, it could miss. Water Spout, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, Helping Hand as well. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage it does to Ray. Holy cow. Um, Alright, we'll get Incineroar in. It's likely the Ferrothorn hits the field now for my opponent. But we've got the freedom to kind of switch around now, so that's that's the other thing. Ferrothorn comes in. Yep. Now, do we just fake out the Kyogre and protect Rayquaza? Because the Ferrothorn's got to feel threatened here. The other thing is we could just literally try and nuke the Ferrothorn at extreme speed. So the Kyogre's got to feel pressured from the fake out, for sure. But the Ferrothorn's got to feel pressured as well. Um, one of the things we could do is extreme speed the Kyogre. And then Flare Blitz the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn protects. Just trying to get around. Hopefully the extreme speed's enough. Oh, the Kyogre protects. Double protect. Okay, so we definitely get the Ferrothorn the next turn. And we can protect with our Rayquaza. Keeping it around for another day. Unless the Ferrothorn switches out, which it's likely to do now. Because then we could go Snarl. Because the Kyogre is definitely going to go Origin Pulse. How many turns of Trick Room we've got? We've got to plan this out too. Hmm. Yeah, the Ferrothorn doesn't stay stick around, does it? It really doesn't. Let's go Snarl. Ferrothorn switches out, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's too threatened. Too heavily threatened. Rayquaza are coming in. We'll get the Extreme Speed off into the Kyogre, it's a bit annoying because, yeah, okay, and the Snarl, we need to see a Water Spout really, more than anything here, I feel, <sighs> come on, Water Spout, okay, it's still going to do a lot, okay, I mean, Incinero takes it pretty comfortably, <sighs> all right, I mean, all my opponent has to do now is get the Incineroar. I think we can Snarl again. And go Dazzling Gleam. Or Moonblast, even. Yeah, we can Moonblast. Because if that Ray Mega Evolves, it's going to be faster than Azernius. Well, this is the last turn of, of Trick Room. So we could potentially Geomancy here. I just feel like we've got to check the Ray because it chases down the Incineroar otherwise. Let's go Moonblast and let's go Snarl. So it is Mega Evolving. I think that's a big mistake to be honest. Because if it doesn't protect here, we get it the next turn. 
Uh, we get it this turn. It's gonna launch the Delta Stream. There's the snow. Doesn't miss the Kyogre. No protect coming out either. Kyogre's gonna water spout, I'd imagine. Or oh, Origin Pulse. Incineroar shouldn't go down though here. And we'll outspeed the ray. Yeah, and we'll be able to to take it down the following turn. Well, um, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, there we go. And now the Kyogre should be in range of two moon blasts. Did I mention turn back to normal? And I don't think Incineroar is in any danger of going down to an Origin Pulse here. So it means we can check the Kyogre and just constantly check the Ferrothorn, which is likely to protect here. Uh, whew. Yeah, we'll take another Origin Pulse. Yeah, and the Kyogre definitely. Yeah, the Ferrothorn protecting there. It's just about the the Xerneas taking this Kyogre down into Moonblasts. I mean, a special attack drop here would be even better. Nah, but we're gonna, yeah, it's hit every single Origin Pulse. It's, it's a good Kyogre, this one. Yeah, and uh, there's a Flare Blitz, so we'll be able to get the Ferrothorn on the next turn. Um, as the Moonblast will be enough to get the Kyogre, and we'll just click in. After that misclick, turn one, I'm like, oh my gosh, I thought we'd lost this one, and that would not have been any fun. <laughs> Honestly, that would have been terrible, but hopefully this is enough here. Yeah, and then we should have enough in the tank to take down this Ferrothorn with a Flare Blitz. We've not been intimidated, there's no no hope, I don't think, unless it's sashed. Yeah, there we go, it's gone. Good cat, good cat. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> That was too close for comfort. And Sinora going down to the recall damage. But very good game to Ching again. And I'm no, no doubt about it. We'll probably bump into you at some other point on this battle series. So uh, we'll look forward to the next time we play. Right. Let's hope it doesn't take an absolute age to find our next opponent. And we'll hop straight over here. Yeah. Oh, those games. You know when you get a little bit complacent? And I think... I will put it down to me just sitting mindlessly searching for like 15 minutes and just being a little bit off the boil. But when you do and it kind of pings you up and you're like, what have I just done? And then you're kind of kicked into gear and thinking, okay, I've got to actually start playing again. And luckily enough, we had enough left to um, to kind of pull ourselves through that one. It wasn't fun, but uh, <sighs> nothing like a little wake up call like that so we'll go with team rainbow rocket as our next track because this is one i don't think we featured i love rainbow rocket as well love them they're such a cool team mr giovanni um and uh as i say well hopefully it doesn't take too long to find upon i'll just cut now to when we bump into our next game and we have our next opponent of the episode japanese player and they are playing a team of oh this looks spicy I mean, this looks really spicy. I mean, we need to get into team preview, so we'll hop over to that right now. Here we go. Oh, we're not even... Where's the right screen for this? We're not even getting into it. There we go. We get to it finally. Sorry about that, guys. That is terrible. But we've got Lorantis, Eveltal, Alolimark, Kyoga, Orocorio, the electric version, and Feromosa. Wow. This is this is a fun team. Uh, Quiver Dance... Feromosa or Corio doing work here. I think that's something that we can totally expect. Uh, we probably want Incineroar. Um, Rayquaza. Or we could go Xerneas set up early. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, we do need to be careful around that Alolan Muck as well. Um, could be a decent one to bring. Well, I definitely want to bring... Rayquaza could be a decent one to bring Landorus, um, but Finny's also quite useful here as a switch into that Kyogre. Um, oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, let's go Finny. Let's lock in with Finny and go with that one. 
And we'll finally get the screens right. We'll finally get them right. They're all the transitions all getting mixed up. I'm like, yes, we'll get into this one. Here we go. <laughs> okay. At least we're going to play something a bit fun to end off today's episode. That'll be great. Um, I like seeing these obscure Pokemon, these niche Pokemon. And so I'm sure most of you do as well. And seeing them, how they're operating, what they're meant to do in the team and things like that. So it'll be a lot of fun. Lorantis and Feramosa. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right, we have to fake out the Feramosa. I don't really care about the Lorantis because we can definitely get our Geomancy up. Uh, we'll take a plus one Leaf Blade from the Lorantis unless it's Z-moved and then we're in trouble. But that's fine. We'll go off. Yeah, we'll go for the fake out and we'll just Geomancy. Um, because I do wonder about the Lorantis switching out anyway to the Oracorio, the Feramosa going for the quiver dance the oracorio doing dancer um, and the other thing is the pheromos has probably sashed as well so it's nice to be able to break that sash let's hope the Lorantis hasn't got a way to deal with Xerneas I mean if it has hat off to you my friend we'll get the geomancy boost and then the next turn we should be able to just dazzle and nuke the uh, Lorantis as long as Cinnamon's still around it might take a superpower yeah there we go Where's it going? Can we take it? Nah. Poor Incineroar. Poor Incineroar. But we've got a Geomancy, so it's all that matters really now. Because we can get Rayquaza in. And I don't really know what my opponent kind of does to get around this, to be honest. Um, because we just... Well, do we even need to Mega Evolve? It might be nice not to, knowing that there's a Kyogre in the back. Um, and just go Dragon Ascent into the Rantis and Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty straightforward for us there. There's not really too much risk of anything else happening, I don't feel. And then it'll be Eveltal and Kyogre in the back. And this is why I'm not Mega Evolving, because when the Kyogre comes in, it primal reverts, it'll get us rain up, but then we can still Mega Evolve and get our Delta Stream to overwrite that. So, Pheromos is switching out, saving that for later on. Muck! Good old friend from VGC 2017. How are you doing? Haven't seen you around for a while. Oh, muck. <laughs> That's how we treat you when you come in a critical hit. I mean, you take a critical hit, doesn't gleam. Shows how much of a boss you are. Legit. Like, big bad boss. Uh, so we'll get the Lorantis, though. Yeah. Even with the defensive boost there, it's fine. Oh, muck. Muck, Muck, Muck. I love Alolan Muck. It's such a cool Pokemon. It really is. And Muck is one of those Pokemon from Generation 1. It's such a cool Pokemon, but you could never really use because it didn't like Psychic in Generation 1. It was just broken, wasn't it? So, um, yeah, I think we just we, oh, we just do the same again now. We can just um, Dragon Ascent Muck, Dazzling Gleam, and that should do it. And then the Kyogre will be in the back, I'd imagine probably left the Eveltal at home so there's a dozen gleam get the jump on the oh it's got both of them actually it's a bit unfortunate and then one Pokemon left okay Let's see what this Pokemon is it's Oracorio <laughs> it makes an appearance Oh, this is great. Okay, <laughs> I feel I almost feel mean for doing this, but I mean it's fine, isn't it? It's fine. One moon blast. Look at it, pom pom bird, doing all the right stuff. Extreme speed, break a potential sash there, and uh, moon blast. And good game to my opponent. I think because that was so quick, we could probably have a look for another one, guys. So, like I say, very good game to my opponent. Um, just getting the, the Geomancy off turn 1 was more than enough in this match and they didn't bring any of the restricted smiths it made it a lot easier so um, we'll move on and we'll try and find our next one do, do, do. the black screen what are you doing come on we don't want to save that no nope. come on let's get into our next one Right, music, music. Uh, Sinnoh Legend. Let's do that one. Because I think this is one that we haven't had for a while as well. 
And like always, my no, no, there we go. We got a, a zone extreme as our next opponent. So I'll hop into team preview. So our next opponent of the episode, we're going up against the Kyogre, Gengar, Ferrothorn, Rayquaza, Tapu Koko, and Incineroar. So we've got a dual mega team here between the Mega Gengar and the Mega Rayquaza. We've got the supporting cast of Incineroar for sure with the fake out Intimidate support. The Tapu Koko with its electric terrain um, quite possibly has the... Mm, probably not got the Ferranium Z because you've got the Mega Gengar that can deal with Ultra Necrozma pretty well. Um, Kyogre, there's no speed control on my opponent's team, so it'll be a question whether or not that Gengar's got Icy Wind. So any sort of speed control from our side is going to really disrupt their ability to operate very well. Um, what are we going to do? I think Incineroar and... Hmm... Rayquaza, definitely in Tapu Fini, and yeah, we'll bring we'll bring Zern to this one, and uh, we'll just lock in, and we'll jump straight over to our main. And hopefully, it doesn't take too long for my opponent to lock in. Um, but it should be a good one. It's always going to be tricky playing Mega Gengar. It's it's one of them Pokemon, but like I always try and do, if we can kind of trade it early on for the Rayquaza does make life a little bit easier for Xerneas later on. Um, I think the thing again, we're, we're noticing quite a common trend as well with these Ferrothorns. You've got to just keep in mind that you've got to have that in cinema for the late game. If you don't, things are very difficult. And even though I'm saying that, we have got our own Rayquaza, so it isn't like all is lost. It's just, it's a lot easier to deal with when you've got Intimidate and a big fiery cat to uh, help you out. I'm going to see Kyogre Gengar come out for my opponent. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, one of the things we could do here is just go for the Dragon Ascent into the Gengar, fake out into the, the Kyogre here. The other thing we could potentially do is just Dragon Ascent the Gengar um, and switch into Tapu Fini. But then there's the chance of my opponent doubling the Rayquaza, which I'm not massively keen on. Uh, so let's just go that fake out route and let's go Dragon Ascent into the Gengar. And if the Gengar doesn't protect here, then it is going down, all the way downtown. Um, we probably will take some heavy damage with our Rayquaza here though. That's the problem. So, Rayquaza, fever, feverishly. I think that's what it is. It's getting fever and it's bursting out. Becoming a badass. So we'll get rid of this rain, which is helpful. Gengar protects, it's fine. Alga protects. Also fine. Um, hmm. Now, question is, do we chase down the Gengar again, or do we chase down the Kyogre this time? I kind of want to chase down the Kyogre more than anything. Um, and go for a Snarl. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I don't think we'll pick up the knockout onto the Kyogre, but the amount of damage we get. Ooh. Skill swap Gengar. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay, it's going to get the Intimidate, which is so, so useful for this Kyogre. It does mean that our Rayquaza can't get taken down here, but it probably will mean that our, our poor Incineroar will be down, unless we get a silly old crit. Wow, it does nothing, does it? It would have been better Swords Dance in there. Origin Pulse. Ray of Oids, still keeping that Sash intact, which is the big thing. And uh, we take that. That's pretty nice. So we'll get our Snarl off, which is really important for us here. Um, It would have been better going for the Skill Swap with the Kyogre, to be honest. And then you keep your Shadow Tag, because now you're pretty screwed. Because you're trapped in, although the Gengar's not trapped in. Um, but we can switch out our Incineroar into our Finny. 
Hmm. Do we do that? Yeah, let's do that. And let's just protect Ray. We've got pretty fortunate with Ray dodging these attacks like a little ninja. Uh, we just, we do want to protect it though. We don't want to just let it go down freely. I'd imagine the Gengar will probably try something into that slot this turn. To try and damage it so the Kyogre can maybe clean it up. Um, but the Snarl is going to be really, really helpful for us here. There's a skill swap again. Going for the Kyogre this time. Okay. And there's a Primordial C. And more Intimidate spam. Hmm. We're probably going to see another Origin Pulse. Minus one, it's not going to be doing too much to the Finny. And the Gengar is not really going to have much chance to uh, pick up a knockout with Sludge Bomb anymore, which is the nice thing. Um, I think what we'll do is go for an Icy Wind. And. Hmm. Depends how fast this Kyogre is as well, because we've got the option here to go Haze. Um. It's just what do we switch in, and in, in, in this case, in this scenario, um, we'll probably have to sack uh, Incineroar, and it's not really something we really want to be doing. Um, I'm going to go Icy Wind, and I'm going to go into Xerneas here. I think it's the one thing we can maybe get away with. Oh, the Gengar withdraws, so that means Xerneas has a way easier time coming in. The rain does run away. Um, we see the Ferrothorn hit the field. Okay. Origin Pulse, Zernia Support Hits, wow. Why Origin Pulse is such a terrible move. We do get the Icy Wind. Um, what we could potentially do is switch into Incineroar and Geomancy. Because I feel like the Kyogre might switch out here. And I think we take a minus one Origin Pulse with Incineroar. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And there's a part of me that thinks that my opponent probably doesn't want to allow, doesn't want to attack into the Xerneas because it's, it's so obvious that we protect there. But if we can get this Geomancy up, it puts us in such a good position, especially if Incineroar doesn't go down this turn. So there's a Geomancy. Hmm. Let's see what this Augur does. I'm surprised the Kyogre stayed in, to be honest, because he could have just went for the Moonblast. But I mean, it is being checked by the Ferrothon, so it's fair enough. Origin Pulse does come out, it does connect with both targets now. Sinnoh taking that. Gyro Ball into... Do you take it? We do. Okay. That's what we wanted. We're in a perfect position now. Because we just dazzle. Razzle dazzle and go for the, the Flare Blitz. Um, yeah. The problem is, like, the Rayquaza comes in at some point and it can just deal with with the Xerneas, can't it? <sighs> this should be enough to take the Kyogre down. But you've got to remember that the Rayquaza cannot Mega Evolve. Just can't. It cannot Mega Evolve. And there's the Ray. Here he is. Big boy Ray. But what do you take down here? Do you take down the Incineroar? Or do you take down the Xerneas? I think you take down the Incineroar. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I do think that you take down the Incineroar. Which could leave an opening for us to go for the Dazzling Gleam. Because I don't think you worry about the Xerneas. You'll be able to go down to your Sash. You want to protect the Ferrothorn more than anything. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Dazzling Gleam, actually. 
So that's the target. I think you protect your Ferrothorn from whatever costs. Ferrothorn will take a dazzle. Oh wow, we don't actually see an extreme speed. Oh, we could have just. Oh, we could have just. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it goes for the finny. Did we just proc that berry? Or is a berry gone? Now nah, there's the berry. And the Ferrothorn takes down the Xerneas now. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. Wow. You mad man. You mad, 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 mad man. Um, I think we'll just go for an icy wind and a protect. Does the ray protect here? That's the thing. Or does the ray go for the finny now, knowing that the extreme speed? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, fair, like, fair play to my opponent. They're making all the. They're not making bad decisions at all. They're making it as hard as possible for me. There's a gyro ball this time. But we've got to be so careful with Incineroar because it's it's so low at this point on health. Um, I mean, the one thing we, uh, we don't want to do that. We want to try and Icy Wind. Yeah, and Dazzling Gleam. Probably not going to get it off. I wouldn't have thought so. There's the extreme speed now coming out. Yeah. yeah. Can't believe that first turn we could have just went for the Flare Blitz. It's that old saying, isn't it? Like, your opponent <laughs> worries about... We'll lose the Finny here. Because it will go Power Whip. No, just Gyro Ball. It'll be enough anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> now we've got the Mega Gengar. It's going to come right down to it, I think. Um, Because the Gengar checks uh, Incineroar. And then, oh man, what are we doing? And yeah, it's hard, it's hard. It is really difficult. We'd have to survive. We'd have to, we have to get the game. Oh, we've still got our sash, so there's every likelihood that we can do this. I think we have to chase the Gengar with a Dragon Ascent. And the flare blitz. They have to go for they have to go for the Incineroar here. With Gengar. Which could allow us to I just don't know if we get the Ferrothorn with just a normal Dragonison from this range. And there's no way to get around the Gengar otherwise. Hmm. And if we go after the Ferrothorn now. It could protect. Uh, uh, although, and the Gengar, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I think we've got to get rid of the Gengar and then hope we've got enough in the tank to. Okay, if the Ferrothorn doesn't protect here, it's done. That nah, protects. Okay. Oh, we could have Swords Danced. <laughs> oh, imagine if we'd Swords Danced there, then we just take. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's trying to get as much health back so because it knows the situation it's in. Um we'll go flare blitz again and just do the same again. I mean, yeah, we have to do the same again because we can't allow the Gengar to take down Yeah, the Incineroar and not get any return. Because we're gonna take a gyro ball. It's just a shame that our defense drops. Uh, but we have got the in intimidate on to the Ferrothorn. It's just a shame that Incineroar is not in better shape. I think the one thing we could potentially do, because we'll take this. Let's see what this damage is like. 85. There's a chance it's a roll, you know. There's a chance. Nah, there's not. Hmm. 
I think our only hope here is swords dancing and then we can drag and ascend it. I'm just going to have a quick look on a, a damage calculator because it's the one thing I never do this. I've not got long left. But I'm just going to have a quick look to see because I shouldn't really do this. And I'm going to make my mind up before. It's not even loading and I'm running out of time. Yeah, I've not got time. Um, do we just Dragon Ascent? I'm going to Sword Stance and hope that they protect. Okay. We didn't get the damage calculator up in time, but it's fine because we just do this. This is the one win con we've got here because now we can 100% get this Ferrothorn. Ah, what a great game. Really good opponent. And um, we will be able to just drag an ascent and take this thing down. And this should be more than enough. What a close game though. Great stuff to my opponent, Iron Bob's damage and uh, Rayquaza coming out victorious once again. So very good game to my opponent. And guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been a bunch of fun. It's been really good. We've had some really nice games today. And thank you for sticking out till the end because it was well worth it, I feel. So we're going to wrap things up. We'll be back with more XY. Not XY. X-Ray. X-Ray, get it through my head, X-Ray action tomorrow so have a great day enjoy your morning afternoon night whatever time of day it is make sure you're taking care of yourself though guys and i will see you on our next one so until then take care and bye bye